Hi friends, Amy Mascott here of TeachMama.com and today I'm excited to share with you information from the good people at No Kid Hungry. If you are new to the channel, I'm Amy Mascott, former high school English teacher, currently a reading specialist, and mom of three. So I've got five quick things to share with you today. Sit tight, I know I'll go fast, I know you're, everybody's busy. So here we go. First thing, Childhood hunger is a really important issue near and dear to my heart. Um, not only because I spent years in the classroom and I saw firsthand how impactful it was when kids came to school hungry. I experienced this firsthand as a child. My three sisters and I always had food to eat. However, I do remember times where our pantry was not that full, where there wasn't a lot of food in the cabinets. And in fact, one time, uh, we were hanging around on a Sunday and I remember a knock was at our door and a young man came with uh, bags and bags of groceries for us and he told us that a woman at the grocery store said that she just wanted him to bring all these groceries to us um, and that we needed them and in fact we did. Um, we always said that it was like an angel that day who came to our rescue but I know that um, we need to do what we can to eradicate childhood hunger. We all know that when children go to school with a full belly or start the day with breakfast, that they are going to succeed more in school. It's a, a proven fact. So that's why I love what is happening here with Generation No Kid Hungry. Generation No Kid Hungry, and here's number two, is a youth-led movement where children, teens, college students are taking an active role in the No Kid Hungry campaign. They are taking leadership roles, they are coming up with cool ways of raising awareness, and they are making a difference. And so, totally awesome, just the way that we are empowering our youth to make a difference. Yay! Third thing you need to know is that Generation No Kid Hungry is working on an initiative right now called Powered by Breakfast, which is amazing. And it's something that your students, your children, you can help solve. <laughs> the question is, how do we get breakfasts in every school across the country? Research shows that when breakfast is offered in school, more children are fed, more hungry children eat. In fact, the school that my kids go to, uh, the middle school, does breakfast for everyone, and it's absolutely amazing. All the kids go into the cafeteria in the morning, not just those kids who are getting free and reduced lunch, all the kids, and so there's no stigma attached to walking into that cafeteria. Every child who's hungry is able to eat. And the Power by Breakfast campaign is something that Generation No Kid Hungry is working on right now. It's something that you or your students or children can get active in. Fourth thing you need to know is that I've got an awesome freebie for you. It's all of the information you need to know about how to become active in the Generation No Kid Hungry campaign. It is a Generation No Kid Hungry service learning toolkit. Boop! Awesome. It's where you should begin. Totally free. All you need to do is go to this bit.ly link and you'll find it right there. Fifth thing, why do you need the Generation No Kid Hungry Service Learning Toolkit? Here's why. It's awesome, okay? It starts with a letter to the teacher or service learning coordinator. It tells you everything you need to know and what steps you need to take. I know when I wanna take on a new project or initiative, I need a, like a pathway. Give me the steps to, to follow through so that I can do the best that I can. So that's the first thing this toolkit has. The second thing that it contains is a letter to students. Um, everything students need to know. And then next step for students. Third thing it includes are some facts and statistics about why 
what they're doing really matters. This, my friends, is the most awesome part of the packet, in my opinion. It's literally a plan. Like, what projects that you can do and then how long it will possibly take so that you have an idea of how much of an investment this is for for you and what you can actually do. I love this. It really does help me to, to kind of figure out the steps in, in supporting a project like this as you support students. One other thing that's included is a mission statement so that the students who are working on this actually have a focus, they set goals, and they have uh, identified people and resources for the project. And always, kids are inspired by other kids. These are great little uh, blocks that students can use when they share on social or just kind of use to be inspired. And then finally, just some social links. But the service learning toolkit rocks. And there you have it. Those are the five things I wanted to tell you about today. And from here, what are you gonna do? My suggestion is this, share this video. <laughs> Give it to somebody who you think might really benefit by having it, and then you've done your part. Or if you feel inspired to take a leadership role and uh, harness the energy and enthusiasm of some of your students, do that. If you're a parent and you're watching, get your kids involved, by showing them this, the information here and then set them free for the summer. This is a great summertime project. Give them the, the things that we have provided for them, which will help them kick off their involvement with this important campaign. That's it, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely subscribe to teachmama.com on YouTube and please let me know what you do with this information. I would love to support you as best as I can. Thank you to the good people from We Are Teachers and No Kid Hungry for sponsoring this video.